Okay guys, the ceremony is about to begin. This is gonna be such a cool experience. A blue high squad. This is how they do foundation concrete pouring in the Philippines. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Okay, so RJ, can you explain what it is you're holding? It's like coins from the Philippines and from different countries. Yep, guys, coins from different countries. Apparently, we need it for this ceremony, for the concrete pouring into the foundation holes. Oh my gosh, we're gonna start. By the way, if you're new to these vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos, this is Ligaya, that's architect Dennis, RJ, and our team. We're about to pour, I guess, fill the foundation holes to our future house here on the Mabuhay Squad farm. <gasps> And apparently there's a ceremony. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Join the family. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Okay, so what is this? What are we doing? RJ has to throw some of the coins inside. Oh, oh my. Jane, is that holy water? Oh my. Teate, I'll see you next. Oh, what did they just pour in? Oh, big rocks. They poured in some rocks. Is that holy water? Yes. Wow. Okay, we're moving to the next foundation hole. <gasps> oh my, what a interesting thing. I'm gonna ask architect Dennis why we need to do this. Oh wow, wow. Guys, be careful, huh? be careful. Yeah, guys, be careful. This is like mining site here. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, guys, we're hiking here, seriously. The guy, are you alright? She's like wondering what is going on. Wow, this is a big hole here. Awesome. Next. Whoa, wow. Okay, we have to do it in every hole, right? Oh man. <gasps> wow, this is so cool. I can't believe, I can't believe this will be the future foundation. These are like the feet of our home, guys. Oh. Awesome. Oh, okay, this one has some wirings. Oh. It's like a game. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay, can I throw two? Yeah. There. Which one? Way down there. Mabuhay squad, let's do this. Do we make a wish, architect, when doing this or no? Uh, it can be a wishing well. It can be a wishing well, okay. I wish for the Mabuhay squad farm to be a place of love, magnificence, abundance, and good vibes to everyone involved. Yay! There we go. Not the LC blesses it with some holy water. Oh my. Whoops. Careful. I can't believe that when all of this is done, there will be a house where we're standing right now. Wow. Here we go. Ready? For Mabuhay Squad and love. Yes. Thank you, Judith. Guys, follow Judith on YouTube. Jaya, what did you say? This is like a Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, guys. She's like, this is like Minecraft. <laughs> RJ, what are you doing? Where did you get that? Is that the workers? <laughs> Barbells? Oh, wow. All right, guys. Now we get to meet all of the workers who are working on the property, on the house, who've been working hard. And we can't wait to introduce you to them. We actually also haven't officially met them. So this is going to be cool. Here they come. They're all rounding up now. Okay, Mabuhay squad. This is the team. Yes, of architect Elizalde. Yes. So uh, can you introduce them to us? Yeah. This one is uh, Foreman Richie. Oh, he's the foreman. He's the boss. He's the one running the project. Yeah, he's the one here at the site uh, taking care of the uh, site, the materials, the workers. Excellent. Um, he started with me six years ago. Oh. He was still young like this guy. Oh, uh, okay. Well, he's still young. No, he's a full grown man. Yeah, thank you, Richie. <laughs> Salamat. Really appreciate it. Now he can handle all the people now to work together like a team. Yes, good. Yes. You need a good leader, right? Yes. To make things happen. Okay, so their names. Felix. 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 
Anthony. Anthony. Uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Felix. Felix, Felix Jr. Oh, okay. Rodel. Lawrence. Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence. Michael. That's the best name. Aljun. And? Uh, Romel. Romel. Rodel. Rodel. Raymond. Lesson. Lesson. Giovanni. Giovanni. Chris. Chris. Yes. Thank you guys so much. We have GCs for you. Jolly B. Jolly B forever. Thank you, Mikey. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Jay for the Jolly B. <laughs> go, go. Everyone gets. Even the driver of Architect. Architect, where can they find you online in case they want you to build and design their dream house? You can email me at dennis.elizalde at gmail.com Yes. I also have a website at www.elizaldearchitectsbuilders.com You can find me in WeChat, you can find me in WhatsApp, you can find me in Viber, you can find me also in Facebook. Wow, you're so contactable! In all social media. <laughs> yeah, good. Alright, so continuing with our tour of the future home. I believe the front door will be here, like right somewhere there. And it's five meters away from the gate. RJ wants like some really grand door. I don't know, like massive doors. That's his That's his dream. Um, moving over here, this is where some of the bedrooms will be, like my, my parents' bedroom on the first floor so they don't need to climb stairs. Um, and they have their own patio somewhere here where they can come out and drink coffee in the morning if they want. And guys, check out how resourceful and crafty these guys are, these workers. They made their own basketball net. See that? <laughs> using like a, a tree. This is all so crazy guys. I cannot believe it's slowly coming together. Like, you know, it, it's almost like watching a child develop. <laughs> Seriously, like it's just from the conceptualization stage. Actually, it actually begun with coming here to check out the property before actually buying it. That's when the adventure began really. Oh, it's just amazing. I can't wait, can't wait for all of us to just start a cool new adventure and life here in the Mabuhay Squad Farm. And I just love this Bahai Kubo. It's so cute. <gasps> can't wait to eat up there, seriously. Mm. Make some barbecue. Now, this lot here on this side, that actually is a slightly larger lot cut. And we first wanted to get this lot. But then after consulting with architect Dennis, he said this is a better property to build the house on. But if in the future we want to get this property, um, we can. It can be kind of, like, kind of like a secondary property or a place where we can house more animals i don't know only thing is the developer raised the price by like 50 percent as soon as like we bought this place smart business people smart 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 mm -hmm. guys check out how they bend the iron rods check this out whoa wow see that it's all by hand here we go whoa Awesome! Wow! The craftsmanship, right Mabuhai Squad? Amazed. Now in terms of wildlife that are in this area, like dangerous wildlife. So I've been doing my research, right? Apparently there are Philippine cobras. <laughs> that live well pretty much all over the philippines really but some have been spotted not in this subdivision but like in another region but who's to say they won't like emigrate here right? apparently they also love being around bodies of water and of course we will have a fish pond but they're generally shy of people like their natural instinct is to slither away and they do control rats and all of those like ground pests i suppose um but just in case rj and i have decided to have some anti-venom shots and like serum as part of our first aid kit just in case we do happen to see a philippine cobra and guys it's a spitting cobra too so like we gotta be three meters away from it or else it might spit some venom into our eyes so cool nice to see we got some pollinators up in here i've seen so many butterflies just walking around of course somewhere on this property we're going to install a beehive yes we are going to have bees on the mabuhay squad farm yes to pollinate all of our vegetables and fruits and plants um so we can create much more produce mm -hmm. love bees jolly bees 
All right, guys, so now they're gonna continue working to actually mix and pour concrete into these foundation holes over the next few days. And I believe there's a killing of a chicken involved where they need to pour blood into these holes. Not exactly sure what the details are, but not gonna be here for that. And I understand this is a tradition that is supposed to appease like forest spirits, sprites, and that kind of thing. Duende. Why do we have to kill a chicken again? It's as is that like to appease? Yeah, to appease the soil, or if they're and also sacrifice a form of sacrifice like blood, blood and during the ancient times. Mm. It's really valuable. I there's, see. There's blood compact. There's blood of. Jesus. Oh, okay. There's blood on the uh, doors of the Israelites when the famine came. It's a very sacred, a sacred like yeah. substance. And then it's to appease who? The duende. <laughs> Is it? I don't Spirits? Know, but before when we uh, dig the soil here, yeah. or excavate, there were lots of sickness that happened to the people. Oh? To the workers? Yeah, that's <gasps> why we killed the chicken and spread the blood out. Oh! Okay, the duende are mad that we're like going into their land. Weird story, you could probably find it in another video, but I totally believe in forest spirits. Watch where you're stepping because I am a duende. I also go by elf, dwarf, goblin, duende. You probably have heard of us in stories from your nana of how we put a curse on you if you don't give us a life. I believe in spirit of life, like in all things. I just hope that the spirits here on the Mabuhai squad farm know that we come with good intentions we just have to like scratch around the land for a bit to establish and then we promise to make things great apparently there are monitor lizards that live here as well i can't wait to see them Ooh. i want this to be a sanctuary for all wildlife i can't wait to see all the non-venomous snakes there are apparently pythons that live here burmese pythons yes they're endemic i gotta protect my chickens though Speaking of which, next time we shall bring Hope here, our pet chicken, and hopefully Billy, our pet goat. They can enjoy the property for the first time. <laughs> Architect Dennis, thank you so much. Yes, yes keep up the great work. Thank we'll be back. Okay, thank yes. you so Bye-bye. All right. Can I touch your bird? <laughs> you can touch my bird. <laughs> it doesn't want to be touched. <laughs> Bye. Okay, the guy's warming up to the car. She doesn't mind hanging out at the top there. Oops. It's not the best grip though. The like, guys, you have a perch. Do you want to try using it now? He's like, nope, I'll stay right here. <laughs> yes. yes. Do you like the Mabuhai bus? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> Such a good bird. You want to try up here? Okay, she wants the shoulder. All right. We need to find you like your permanent spot where you can hang out, we can put up a, a poop tray, but you gotta tell us where you wanna go. Where's the place that's the most stable for you? Now I know they have perches that you could stick onto the window. Not too sure how reliable those are. I'm afraid like she'll perch on it and then like the van will suddenly stop and it'll like unstick from the window. Do you guys have any recommendations? Please send me links. I wanna buy some on Amazon. And it needs to be like strong enough for an African gray, medium, it's a large size bird. Oh, she's trying to climb. Okay, you wanna climb? On the way here, she wasn't so open to perching on any surface, but now she wants to. Go. I told you, it just takes time to warm up. Go. No? Look at that beautiful tail. Okay, she stepped onto the windowsill. Oh, he's eating a plastic. Don't eat that plastic. That goes on top of there. That was a scrooper like cover. You're not allowed to eat that, okay? We need to glue that in place. She's warming up. Good morning, Hope. Yes. You got a dirty beak. She makes funny chicken noises now. Hear that? But she's still looking nice and lean and healthy. Her voice just changed for some reason. I guess that means she's getting older. Good morning, Ligaya. Yes. Ligaya just sounded off her beak box. You guys know that, right? It's like a radio for parrots. They can change the station and turn it on whenever they feel like it. You like this song, Ligaya? By the way, if you want your beak box, I'll leave a link in the description box. Guys, I'm dying. Look at all of these GCs. It is just crazy how many Jollibee GCs we have. 
like boxes and boxes of them. So guys, if you want a Jolly BGC, leave in the comment section, I want a Jolly BGC. We're giving them out. Go, go, go. We'll choose a winner and we'll send them to you. Mmm. You guys know Jolly B? <gasps> guys, they're the number one food corporation in Asia. So good. Oh my gosh. Now I'm craving some chicken joy. All right, guys. So now for something a little special. It's something that we shot mm, maybe last week, but we haven't been able to show you until now. Mabuhai Squad, this special something that we shot that we can't wait to show you is 